In space, no one can hear you scream. So let's get cracking. <laughs> Hello, all my explorers, and welcome back to Lauren's Adventures Out There. If you're new, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. On this channel, we do all kinds of things from unboxing to hauls to pins. Uh, and this and this one, we're going to be doodling along with movies. So uh, we do quite a bit uh, on this channel. And if you are so inclined, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel hit the bell for notifications, and do like this post as it really does help us out. I'm Lauren, and I'm with Castles, Capes, and Clones, where we discuss everything in the Disney universe. I almost forgot to introduce myself. So our friend Matt over at Teacup for One uh, had created this uh, little collaboration, as we call it, uh, that is a tribute to the great movie ride, which was at Disney's Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World. It has now been replaced by Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So no matter what you think about the change, um, we're just here to say that how much we loved that attraction and how much we miss it. And so, um, you know, we're going through the movies one by one uh, some people uh, have signed on for some movies, some others. I, I know that I took on a few, but I didn't do others. Um, and it has been a fun time. And uh, for today, we are going to be talking about the movie Alien, which I just realized is now officially a Disney film, since it is 20th Century Fox, and, and Disney owns 20th Century um, and so, uh, yeah, very interesting that this is a Disney film. And uh, there's lots of great channels that are um, collaborating with us on this one. Being a Jean Claire, uh, us, obviously, um, Our Paradise Falls, Teacup for One, The Hide to Do Disney, and TPV Misk. So, anyway. What I am doing for this is what I've been doing with the other films that I've been involved in. And that is doodling along with uh, while talking about the movie. And again, these are doodles. These are not necessarily sketches. It's just like what you would do, the kind of chicken scratch that you do um, while talking on the phone or whatever. And I just kind of like to, you know doodle while talking about things and so I thought this would be the perfect outlet to do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the doodling. All right, and here we are as always with our mascots, Mickey and Minnie from Runaway Railway. <laughs> it started off as an accident that I had them there, but now it's kind of my my thing that they are joining us on our tribute of the great movie ride. All right, so uh, let's start off with, you know, first of all, I have to say this movie was much scarier than I remembered it being. And I remember it being scary, but I, I, I my hat's off to Ridley Scott. He really did put a great movie together. Um, <clears throat> so let's start off with, of course, um, they land on the planet, um, you know, they, they've been asked to intercept. Uh, um, there's an alien life form that that they have found there. And they are supposed to go and intercept this, this um, alien and bring it back to Earth with them. <clears throat> and anyway, one of the guys opens up this egg and this face hugger comes out and attacks his face um and uh he ends up in a coma for a long time and yeah it's got the face hugger on him 
And, um, you know, they're trying to figure out what to do with this guy who's got this face hugger on top of his face. And, you know, he's dripping uh, acid, you know, when they tried to cut it off. And um, anyway, he ends up waking up and they're eating dinner. And they're having a good time when all of a sudden, bum, 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 this alien bursts out of his chest. Bum, bum, bum. Ah. He's dead. Poor John Hurt. And he's dead. And that's when the alien comes out. And uh, he does a little song and dance routine. Where he's got his little hat on. And he's singing, hello my baby, hello my darling. Oh no wait. Sorry. Wrong movie. That was Spaceballs. Um, okay, let's see. What else can we draw from this movie? Um, well, obviously, there's a lot that we can draw. Um, so one of the characters uh, in this movie is a robot named Ash. And we find that out at the end of the film. And um, this guy, Parker, uh, he... Axe tries to kill uh, Sigourney Weaver because his mandate is to bring back this alien uh, even at the cost of this, um, at the cost of the uh, crew. And, um, you know, Parker, one of the uh, crew members, comes in and hits him with something. And... Ash's head comes off, and his head is all down here, and, you know, that's when he reveals his infamous plan that he is um, tr going to, um, you know, basically let them all die um, in, at the expense of getting this uh, alien back to Earth. And, um, you know, they hunt down the alien, and at the end, they have to, you know, one by one, they all uh, perish, except for Sigourney Weaver, who I, I have to say was amazing in this movie. And no wonder that she, you know, has become this big, like, you know, into the science fiction genre because she's um she was like amazing in this film and she you know we've loved her at all of the other um movies that we've seen her in and she's been great in all of the alien movies but there's that final confrontation at the end where the xenomorph confronts her. He somehow manages to get, defies all expectation and manages to get into the um, shuttle. And, um, you know, she has to get, uh, figure out how to get him out of there. And there's like a little final confrontation with them. Um, so, yeah. And I won't spoil the ending as to what happened. But that's pretty much the movie in uh, doodle form. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Let's go ahead and take a look, a closer look at them. So, there's the face hugger. And there's a guy, uh, John Hurt, with the alien popping out of him. 
and there's space balls, <laughs> and there's Ash's head being lopped off by Parker, and uh, Sigourney Weaver uh, with the alien at the end. All right, and that's it. So, again, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you, Matt, for putting this collaboration together. I know it's been a labor of love for you. Um, each week, he has uh, been organizing channels uh, across YouTube to, um, you know, do this tribute, and it's not an easy task. So, Matt, my hat's off to you. Uh, I am leaving all of the information for the channels involved in this particular film down below. So um, feel free to, actually don't just feel free, do it. Go and visit these channels, check out their videos, um, and have a, a good time. So anyway, that's it for right now. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and do like this post, as it really does help us out. You can reach us on Twitter at CCC Disney Uni, on Instagram at Castles Capes and Clones. Visit me personally on Twitter at Lojav, and on Instagram at Lauren Javier. Visit our website at www.castlescapesandclones.com. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you later. Bye.